Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. In this video, I wanna show you how you can mock up your t-shirt designs with my templates in Adobe Illustrator. So here I've got one of the Illustrator templates open. The thing you'll notice is the layers palette. There's three visible layers. The top layer is called shadow layer, and that's what gives it its photographic look. Below that is a layer called your art goes on this layer. Right now that's empty, there's no art on that layer, but that's where you're gonna paste your art when you wanna mock up your designs. And the bottom layer is called color layer. And the color layer is where you assign your t-shirt a fabric color. So first of all, let's just go ahead and lock the top shadow layer so it doesn't get in the way when we're working with the layers below it. And there's a few layers that are invisible right now. I'll go through those real quick to show you what they are. There is a neck label layer. And if you expand that, you'll notice there's neck label art in here and it's, it's clipped out. So you can just replace that with your own neck label art. And I'll go ahead and leave that visible since I like it. There's also a pocket layer. So you can go in and just click on this button to select that. And if, let's say you want a bigger pocket, you can just scale it up a bit. And if you want to change the color, if you click on this little arrow right here, it'll drop down the contents of that layer group. Just select the bottom pocket color layer, and then you can assign that pocket a different color but I don't want a pocket in this design, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off. There's also a layer called Clipping Path. I'll show you that later. And the other layer that's left is the Heather layer, and if you turn that on, it simulates a Heather fabric texture like a poly cotton or a tri-blend tee. You can also go in and select that Heather layer just by clicking on it, and you'll notice the opacity is at 40%, so if you turn that up, it gives it just a little more contrast to that Heather look. But I'm not going to mock up a Heather design, so I'm gonna turn that back off. And now I'll show you how to add in your own design. So here I've got an Aloha graphic, and this is a vector graphic, and I wanna make it on a black shirt. So let me just select this one, and I'll just go Command-C. And what I wanna do is highlight the your art goes on this layer so when I paste it in it'll paste it into that layer and we'll just scale it up here and then now I want to change the t-shirt fabric so it looks black and what a lot of people do when they open up these templates for the first time is they'll select that bottom color layer and just assign it a pure black Problem is all your shadows go away. And if you think about how a t-shirt is photographed, there's a light source, so it has highlights, and the shadows are what makes the dark part. So what you wanna do is actually make it a dark gray. That way the shadows look black and the highlights look gray. So let's just change this to, let's say like a 82% gray. And you'll see how it looks like a black shirt that's been photographed in a studio. And if you want higher contrast in these wrinkles with the Illustrator templates, all you have to do is just take that shadow layer and drag it right down here and duplicate it. And you'll notice that the shadows are a lot more contrasty. So let me get rid of that. The last thing I'm gonna show you is if you have a flattened JPEG, that doesn't have any transparency, you can still use those to mock up with these Illustrator templates. So I have a Ford Bronco graphic and you'll see it's just a flattened JPEG. So what I wanna do, let's just select that Aloha and delete it. And we have this Your Art goes on this layer still selected. So let's go File, Place, and then I'll go find that Bronco file and I'll just place it in there and size it down. And we wanna make the t-shirt fabric blue. That's the thing with these flattened files is 
your t-shirt fabric always has to match the background of your JPEG. So it's really easy to do. All you do is click on that color layer button and let's grab our eyedropper tool and just sample that blue. Now it makes your fabric blue. And you'll notice there is one more problem is the edges of that JPEG are sticking out. So what I've done is I've left a clipping path in the layers. So let's just turn that on and you can't see it, but let me select it and you'll see that it's just a path with no filler stroke. And what we can do with that is that's selected and let's click on the button for the Bronco layer. Let's shift click on that. So now we have both the clipping path and the JPEG selected. And I'll just go Command 7 and that clips out the Bronco. And that's about it. So if you want to find out more, just click on the link below the video. Thanks for watching.